All right, guys, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I was sitting here at my desk for the past three hours, I guess. It's 6 p.m. right now. I went inside this room at about three, and I've just been sitting here, and I've just been fooling around with this piece of paper, thinking of things that I want to do for 900,000. Like, I was writing things down, I was like, you know, should I do a vlog? And I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do a vlog. I'm not gonna vlog anything. I mean, my life sucks. All I do is wake up, and go in this room, hot as breath, and fucked up hair, which is why I'm wearing a hat. See, look, look, look at my hair, guys. God this damn. is my hair right now, that's some fuck. And a lot of you guys might be like, that's not some fuck. And to me, that's some fuck, okay? So, I don't really do anything to make a vlog for 900,000, because that wouldn't be special to you guys, because a celebration video is something that we can all celebrate together. So, vlog is totally out of the question, right? And I was like, okay, should I do like a draw my life? And I was like, uh, am I ready to share my personal life, my past with everybody yet? I mean, I'm comfortable with you guys. Like I act the full on camera, but I don't know if I'm ready to do something like that. Like, I don't know if I'm ready to take you into the deepest, darkest places that I've been to in my life so far. So I was kind of just like, eh, we're not gonna do that either. And I was like, okay, what do people do? What do people do? So I looked at some of my favorite YouTubers like Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie, Markiplier, Vanoss, Angry Video Game Nerd, people of that nature. And you know, they do their run of the mill stuff. Like some of them do like a uh, hot chili pepper challenge or they, they do something crazy like hardcore parkour. And some people, they, they just do crazy things. Like Markiplier, he has some of the most creative ones. He's just, I don't know, he, he, he had one recently where he was in a pool and then Darkiplier came out and then just straight up grabbed him in there and people were like, whoa, how'd you do that? That was so awesome, bro. And then I remember Vanoss did one where he did like a face reveal or something and everyone's like, whoa, Vanoss, he's hot, brah. I mean, even I was like that. I was like, whoa, Vanoss. Dang, dude, Asian brother, what's up? I mean, he looks way more Asian than I do. But um, yeah, people were like, whoa, face reveal, that's awesome. But I mean, it's too late for me. I already revealed my face from the very first video that I made in 2014, which was a basketball video. It was about NBA 2K and things that I thought that they can improve on for NBA 2K15. And I'm just like, damn, two years on YouTube already and we are about to hit 1 million Cub Scouts, and I'm just like, that is crazy. So, I know this video might be a little bit late of just me talking shit, like I'm not even talking shit, like I'm, I'm messing around with a piece of paper talking to you guys right now, and I'm just talking about random bullshit that doesn't even make any sense, but, you know, I, I just really appreciate the journey. I really appreciate the journey, and I'm trying to get this thing to work. See, look, I I'm trying to like make almost like a boat thing, and I know it looks a little bit clumsy right now, but, you guys will see in a second. This piece of paper will kind of be like YouTube or just anything that you want to do in general. Like it, it's, it seems like really broad, but then as you go on, you start to shape up things kind of like your life, you know? You start to shape how you're gonna be and you start to shape up what you're gonna do. And eventually your life will start to make sense. Like you'll start to see something take shape, just like this piece of paper. It's kind of just like this right now, but then in a little while, you'll start to see what it is. Even though what I'm probably saying right now makes no fucking sense. It's crazy what happens, like how focused you are when you stop talking. Like, I remember I would read comments of games that I play. I'm like, oh my God, how did you not see that? How did you not notice that? And I'm like, hey, sometimes doing this whole commentary thing while you're playing a game is harder than it looks. I know like sometimes it looks really easy and that's what I thought before I started making YouTube videos. I was like, this shit seems easy, but you know, when you have the lights on, the camera on, microphone in your face, everything recording, and then you gotta like react fast and think fast at the same time, you're kind of just like, oh shit, this is a little bit more tough than I thought. But, you know, that's not an excuse. I love what I do and I choose this over anything that I can do. And by the way, I finally got everything down. Here we go. Yeah, looking like a rupee from Legend of Zelda. So we are good right now. And like I was saying about the paper, you could start off with something like this. You decide to do something in your life 
and you're like, okay, what am I gonna do? You can write down anything on this paper that you want, right? You could be a doctor, you could be a lawyer, you could be a scientist, you could be an actor, you could be a freaking clown if you wanna be, right? So then you start to fold it and shape it, kinda like your life, you go to school for something that you wanna do. You fold it, that, that's another thing you're doing in life. And then you fold it again, that's another step you take in life, until you shape what you wanna be, right? And me, the only thing I know how to make is a poorly constructed origami crane that I learned when I was in fourth grade. I never forgot. And I don't think it ever served a purpose other than to tell a story with metaphors about how a piece of paper can relate to your life and how you can shape your life to be anything that you want. So in a way, I made something pretty beautiful out of nothing and I made this. I made this for you guys. Let me bend the wings a little bit so it looks like he has a little bit more life to him. See? And uh, trying to flap the wings, kinda. <laughs> gah, gah. Basically what I'm trying to say, all this jibber jabber that I've been doing is that you might not see something beautiful, you might not see the end goal right away, you might be seeing this, something broad, something that you're just thinking of doing, but if you start to just dedicate yourself and start to craft what you wanna be, eventually you can turn this into this. No matter what you do, take it for what you will. You might just be like, okay, this guy is rambling like fuck. He was trying to make an origami crane, trying to sound philosophical and all that bullshit. I'm not buying it. Well, at least he saw me fold an origami crane and it flaps its wings. So, I mean, take it as you want, but you know what? My teacher taught me this in fourth grade. I never saw any use for it. But, you know, sometimes you learn things and it turns out really beautiful and useful one day. Just like this random thing that I'm just saying that was just off the top of my head while I was thinking for three hours at my desk. But anyway guys, seriously, I just wanna thank you all. Thank you for allowing me to do what I wanna do in my life. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to entertain you guys. I always take a second out of every day to remind myself to stay humble and appreciate everything that I have, everything that I've done, everything that I want to do, because I know this isn't gonna last forever. And I'm just living in the present, just trying to take everything in and just soak everything in and just appreciate all the people that you know really want to be part of the Cub Scouts and interacting with me and Nini and anybody else that wants to be part of this community. I welcome you guys with open arms, but to all 900,000 plus of you that are part of it right now, I love you guys. I'm talking to you, I'm looking you dead in your eyes, dead in your eye sockets, I love you guys. So I will see you guys in the next video. Just remember guys to spread positivity, just enjoy yourself, don't take life too seriously. And also there's a cute little crane for you guys. This is for all of you, my present to you guys for all 900,000 of you guys. I'll see you next time.